and knowing the things you have that you really look in the area of your life and see which area you really attached and know those are the areas that are going to come back and hunt you down. Those are the things that you're going to have to let go. At one time, Buddha told one of his very devoted disciples that they've been with him since his awakening. And he turns around and tells them, in a sermon that he had with these 12 monks, he tells them that I'm going to send you out in the world. You can't be with me anymore. And if you see me on the road, you have to kill me. If you ever cross path with me and you come across me again, you have to kill your master. So first he kicks him out, forces him to go. Secondly, he asks him that if they ever run into each other, they should kill him. Because that becomes your attachment too. So at one point, you have to let go of even the most beloved things to you. Your children. The people you love. Your pets. Your things. Things that you have collected in this life. You're going to have to let go of all of them one at a time. If you want to become free. If you want to enter into the fifth dimensional consciousness, you have to let go of everything, including yourself, including your body. That needs to go too. That is the price that every enlightened being, every being that arrived to freedom paid. That's the price. They all paid. That's what I'm saying. It's not free. You have to pay a price. And that price is your attachment. That attachment you have is the very key element that brings you back and keeps you here in this slavery. Because you're in a prison, you're in a high security prison that you don't even know. And you have a horrible master, horrible jailer on top of your head that has been torturing you from your childhood. And it's continuing to torture you. And that's your mind. Your mind is your master. And your attachments are in your mind. It's very easy. Check it out for yourself. I want you not to believe what I say. I want you to discover it for yourself. I challenge you to discover it for yourself. See how easily you can let go of your stuff. Can you give your things away? And see what happens. From your personal belongings, to your money, to your land, to your jewelry, to your kids, to your family, your loved ones, can you let them go and see what happens to you? Oh, you can say, oh yeah, I can let them go. Demonstrate that. Demis I don't care. You don't need to demonstrate it to me because I don't really care. 
demonstrate it to yourself and see how dearly you're hanging on to them, especially money. Especially money. And see how what kind of hang ups you have in that area. And it's very easy to sit back and sit like this and say, Oh no, I don't have any mat attachment to my money and my things. Okay, let's see if you can give them away. Give them away. You say you want God, you want freedom. I'm sorry, you can't take your money and your savings to fifth dimensional consciousness. You know why? Because it's your fear. Not the actual paper money or the land. It's your fear that you can't conquer. You can't conquer it because you don't trust. You don't trust if you give away your money, your things, that her Majesty will take care of you because you haven't discovered Her Majesty inside you yet. If you do discover the presence, the spirit in your heart, then you know it takes care of you all the time. Then you can let go. So that's the price I'm telling you, you have to pay. Now somebody may come and say, oh my God, Zarathustra, you're so cruel. And you're, can you be easier on us? I'm just being honest with you. You may not want to hear it, but that's... That's the price you have to pay if you want to come and join me and sit next to me and share the kingdom, then you have to let go of everything you are holding on so dearly because those are the things that do not allow you your passage into a higher dimension. It's just the way it is. I'm sorry, I didn't make it this way. It's just the way it is. I'm just telling you how you can get there. What is it you need to do? I didn't make the rules. So don't get upset with me. I'm just telling you how you can do it. Now, how can you do that? How can you let go of your attachments? How do you do that? Okay, Zarathustra, I'm willing to do it. Guide me. Can you teach me how to do that? Can you train me? I want to get there. I love you and I trust you, which are the first two components of any spiritual student with their teacher. It has to be love and trust. Otherwise, but it is the teacher's responsibility to establish that, not the student. The teacher has to establish it. The teacher has to show the power of love, demonstrate that, and transmit it to you so you discover it for yourself and the teacher has to show up and be dedicated and be consistent so the trust could be developed. Otherwise, it's all pretty words. And we heard pretty words so many times. 